It is day 14 of figuring out how to ship my vegan croissants nationwide, and before we get into the roller coaster of emotions that was setting up the shipping on my website, we need to travel back in time. It was 2020, a year we all want to forget for many reasons, but I started shipping my vegan croissants just using USPS as a way to keep the lights on. But what was supposed to be a two-day guarantee delivery it wasn't actually guaranteed, and when you're selling something like, I don't know, bread, it's kind of important that things get there fresh, and that was just not happening. Sometimes it was taking up to two weeks for people to get their product. So even though I had plenty of orders coming in, I just decided to pull the plug on shipping and focus on selling the vegan croissants locally. And for the next three years, in between selling out at markets, launching my products in grocery stores, doing interviews, and production, I spent many late nights and early mornings just brainstorming what else could work for shipping. I looked into adding ice packs to the package and sending it overnight. Different carriers and package sizes, but nothing worked. Go to part two to see what did.